Tonight, a Covington man was sentenced to 20 years in prison after he was accused of driving around drunk, asking people for weed, and then pointing a gun at them when they didn't have any. Our Courtney King has a body camera video in an interview you will see only right here on Fox 19 Now. Yeah, Trisha Robb, we're live outside of the Kenton County Courthouse because earlier today, Henry Abrams was convicted of possession of a handgun by a convicted felon. And we also know that he was federally convicted as a bank robber twice. And in this body cam video, you see him get heated with officers when they accuse him of being drunk. What the f are you harassing me for? In May of 2022, someone called 911 and accused this man, Henry Abrams, of pointing a gun at him after he asked for marijuana, but the man didn't have any. He also threatened to blow my brother's brains out. Court documents say it happened on Madison Avenue near 16th Street. <laughs> Police found Abrams an hour later farther down Madison. Do you have a gun right there in the car? I don't know. It's my wife. Can I shut the car off for me? How much you have to drink today? I had nothing. Nothing to drink? You haven't had anything to drink, huh? No, sir. Not face me. He taunts police as they continue to ask him questions. You see, that's why y'all have a problem with the uh, No, I have a problem public. with drunk people driving on the road almost killing no, me. No, y'all have right. a problem with the public. All right. Dang, I ain't right. hammered. Right. What you talking about? All right. There ain't a damn thing wrong with me, Hammer. That's why the people out here don't want to support your ass. Officers then handcuff him and put him in a patrol car, and another officer discovers the gun. There's a gun in the car. Huh? There's a gun in the car. Kenton County Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders says Abrams threatened at least three people with a gun that day. We got a call earlier of him trying to sell weed to someone that... They sat down and pointed a gun at him. He got pissed and pointed a gun at him. Abrams is a convicted bank robber and was found guilty Wednesday of possession of a handgun by a convicted felon in this case. And Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders is the one who prosecuted this case. He says that normally handgun by felon convictions are about five to ten year sentences. But because of his criminal history, he qualified for a 10 to 20 year sentence. So again, that jury recommended a sentence of 20 years for him. Right now he is in the Kenton County Jail. We're live in Kenton County. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now.